To link your Pebble Pad account to the app, simply go to Settings and select Account Information. Just tap on Login, select your institution from the list, enter your account details, and allow the app access to your account. Once done, the account information screen will show your account details. On here as well, you will find the logout button should you wish to use a different Pebble Pad account. Returning to the settings screen, you will find toggle options which by default are enabled. Should you wish to disable the setting, just simply tap on your selection like so. To create an asset from the home screen, select the asset type you want. These assets will look familiar to you as they follow the same format as those in Pebble Plus. For this video, I've chosen to record an activity. I'm just adding my content. And once done, I can send this asset to my account, tapping on the send button. However, if you wish to save it to the device, you can do so by tapping on the save to the device button. To view the list of assets you have saved on your device, you can do so by tapping on the My Assets button from the home screen. From here, you can select an asset you want to edit and continue where you left off. There is also the option to remove this asset from the device while on the screen. To send all your assets in one go, simply tap on the Send All button from the My Assets screen and confirm. Should you wish to go to your Pebble Pad account, you can do so by tapping on the Pebble Pad button on the home screen and the HTML version of your account will open on your device's browser. Please be aware that you will need an internet connection whenever you link your account to the app and when sending your assets to your account.